Hey guys, it's Stefan again, and in this short little video, video number three, episode number three, I should say, uh, from the Bot Hacks series, this is uh, about how to uh, basically specify from whom the message is coming from once uh, once you're talking uh, from a live chat uh, on your Facebook or from your Facebook page to another customer. So uh, we have got this option going on inside Clever Messenger as well, and uh, it does slightly do a better job. But to be honest, um, this is something you would like to know if you don't got Clever Messenger yet, as it allows you to um, be more transparent to your subscribers and customers um, or visitors uh, rather that are talking to your um, page. It's all about this stuff right here. Um, as you can see, this once uh, this bot started talking today, uh, you could see that there was no indication uh, from um, uh, where this message was coming from, or rather from who this message was. Uh, this message was coming from. Um, this because this was a bot message. This is basically the chatbot talking uh, to me in this case, and it doesn't really specify uh, from whom that message is coming. However, there is a Facebook option that allows you to specify uh, once there is a live chat ongoing that the uh, opposing party uh, it be the subscriber the customer or the visitor can actually see to whom they are talking to and in this case um, we are currently watching the page the clever messenger page uh, from uh, a visitor perspective and that's why i can see my own name right here stefan from clever messenger uh, is actually responding back to me with talking. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty easy to actually set up. So let me just demonstrate this uh, really quick to you uh, and then also hop over and um, to Clever Master itself um, and show you the differences that this na native Facebook option has as opposed to our option. Um, this is, I think, uh, a, a recently uh, uh, a feature that they added recently, uh, because um, as far as I understood it, personas and uh, changing or showing the name, um, your name or your um, support uh, agent's name to a visitor that's talking to your page was uh, only uh, able to be um, uh, managed through the Messenger API. However, um, going through this uh, series myself, this and, and, and thinking about uh, certain subjects uh, to talk to you about, I actually found this to be uh, just being updated in my, uh, in our pages right here. Um, so I thought uh, that would be an interesting video. Uh, anyways, let me just dive in right away. Um, once you are uh, looking at your page from the admin perspective, that is at uh, facebook.com slash your page name, then navigate to settings right there and then and go to the messaging tab right there on the left, click on it, it redirects you to this page right there. And all the way on the bottom, you see uh, a big headline during a messenger conversation and uh, where it says, show who's sending messages on your behalf of your page, you simply enable that right here. Then you can choose to disable or uh, enable the display name. In this case, we need to uh, set it to on and then we can change uh, or upload a uh, different photo so it won't show the uh, clever messenger logo in this case or your page uh, profile picture in this case but the one you actually upload right here and then you can choose to uh, between full name first name and the initial of the last name the first name initial to first name and last name the last name and only the initials now you can see that there is some uh, people from support uh, added to uh, uh, on our side as well and they actually um, their name will actually be uh, replaced uh, as well so um, where it said Stefan from Clever Messenger, it will say Chris from Clever Messenger, Kath from Cl Clever Messenger, and all that good stuff. Um, the limitation, however, is in this thing right here. We can actually, uh, which is cool, we can actually, actually replace our current photo, 
but this photo uh, replaces uh, it for everyone. So there is no way for me to specify a photo for each and every support agent uh, or for myself doing this natively. Now this, this is where Clever Messenger comes into place. I'm currently inside Clever Messenger and um, in the uh, Persona tab under the automation uh, section. And this is where we can actually add unlimited personas with unlimited names, how you see fit with unlimited um, uh, pictures, uh, profile pictures. So this actually allows you to add your uh, team and if they are already a team member inside Clever Messenger, then you can easily convert those people in personas as well, which is really, really neat. Um, but yeah, basically uh, it allows you to get a separate picture for each and every support agent or agent or person that's actually talking uh, with your subscriber or page visitor. Um, and uh, in order to do that, you can actually uh, specify uh, being admin, you can actually specify anything right here. So you can add multiple personas right here as well, which is awesome. Um, let me just go back right here. There we go. And what's what's really cool is that uh, with the personas option on Clever Master, you can actually change this in your bot flows as well. And you can create made up uh, kind of personas to really spice up your... Um, yeah, basically spice up your uh, your your bots, your chats, and um, really make it an engaging conversation. Um, that's where the limitation of Facebook actually starts, and where Clever Master picks it up again. Uh, there's more to this whole persona thing, but uh, in order for you to already get a taste and be more transparent to your subscribers and visitors, you should probably uh, think or consider to uh, enable this option under during a messenger conversation where you can choose to show uh, anyone who interacts with your chatbot or a chat who they are actually talking to. Uh, kind of important, uh, I, if I have a, a personal uh, support question or I have a, a question for a different uh, company that um, offers support via Facebook, I already, always find it annoying to um, just talk to a um, uh, a page because uh, by by knowing their name, it already gets more uh, more um, personalized and it gets to be a more personal conversation. And if they screw up in the event, they screw up the uh, support um, experience. Then I know who I talk to, so I can actually uh, mention their name uh, in a next support call. Or if they did a really, really good job and I'm uh, very, very happy with their support, I can actually send uh, send some love over and also mention their name. So it works both ways. Um, we, I, we actually love it. Um, we actually love the fact that we are uh, showing uh, off our name. Uh, we have actually seen a lot of uh, positive um, uh, remarks once we enabled that because now our customers and subscribers actually know who they are talking to if they are um, yeah, engaging in a live chat with one of our support agents. Um, again, that said, that's basically the feature that Facebook offers. We offer it through their Messenger API as well, but their API allows for more options like all the features I've just talked about and even more. So um, again, if you want to give that a try, give Clever Messenger a try and set up those personas inside Clever Messenger and you'll see how it works and you will see how easy it all is. Okay, this is uh, episode number three and I hope you liked it and uh, thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.